Hey boys and girls, welcome back to Celebrate Wonder. Today we're going to learn that Jesus brings joy. And our memory verse is from Luke chapter 1 verses 46 through 47. With all my heart I will glorify the Lord. In the depths of who I am I rejoice in God my Savior. So Jesus not only brought joy to Mary and Joseph, but to the whole world. And he can still bring us joy today. And that includes joy to you and joy to me. And that's something to celebrate. Let's hear the Bible lesson from our storybook Bible. Jesus brings joy. You can see the picture and the animals and the stars and Mary and Joseph. Luke 2, verses 1 through 7. The man in power, the Emperor Caesar Augustus, wanted everyone to go to their hometown to be counted. Joseph was from Bethlehem, so he and Mary had to go to Bethlehem. It was a hard trip walking from Nazareth all the way to Bethlehem, and Mary was going to have her baby very soon. Bethlehem was very crowded and busy when they arrived. That night, baby Jesus was born. Mary wrapped him in cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no room in the guest room, no room in the inn. So, what I wonder, what do you think a manger is? Now let's turn to our deep blue Bible and hear the Bible lesson from that. In those days, Caesar Augustus declared that everyone throughout the empire should be enrolled in the tax list. The first enrollment occurred when Cyrenius governed Syria. Everyone went to their cities to be enrolled. Since Joseph belonged to David's house, remember King David? And family line, he went up from the city of Nazareth in Galilee to David's city called Bethlehem in Judea. He went to be enrolled together with Mary who was promised to him in marriage and who was pregnant. While they were there, the time came for Mary to have her baby. She gave birth to her firstborn child, a son, wrapped him snugly and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the guest room or the inn. So you can pause this video and go to the website and watch the Celebrate Wonder video, Jesus Brings Joy, and then join me when you're finished. Okay, welcome back. Our faith word is joy. Joy is a feeling of gratitude and happiness. How does Jesus bring joy to your life? Did you see any joy in today's Bible lesson? What else brings you joy? So think about it. What do you think it would have been like to be in Bethlehem when Jesus was born? What do you think it was like to travel in Mary and Joseph's time? Remember, there were no cars then. What do you think Mary was thinking as they traveled? What do you think Joseph was thinking? How do you think they felt when they could not find a place to stay? Imagine, can you imagine not being able to find a place to stay? No bed to sleep in, no house with heat, no running water. What groups of people do you know of today who have experienced or have, who are currently experiencing homelessness? Maybe veterans from a war, maybe immigrants, maybe refugees, maybe people who are suffering from mental illnesses. All of these people sometimes experience homelessness. 
Do you think people would have done anything differently if they knew that Jesus the Messiah was the one who was about to be born? Let's look in our wonder box. What do you think is in our wonder box today? Here's our wonder box. Let me open it. And I have this trough. And animals eat from this trough. So I have a sheep and a cow and a donkey. And I have Joseph and I have Mary. And we learned that Mary laid Jesus in a manger. And a manger is an animal's feeding trough. Think about it. Would you like to put a baby in a dog bowl? That's kind of what Mary did. She put her baby in a great big dog bowl where animals ate. Can you imagine a king? Because Jesus was supposed to be the king of kings. Can you imagine putting a king in an animal's feeding trough? Well, again, God uses unexpected people, places, and things for his message. So, Jesus was born in a very unexpected place. He was born in a stable. What is a stable filled with? Animals. What do you think the stable looked like? What do you think the stable smelled like? Have you ever slept in a barn? What do you think it would be like to sleep in a barn? Have you ever spent the night in an unusual place? If so, where was it? Our Bible lesson says Jesus was placed in a manger when he was born because there was no room for his family in the guest rooms or inns in Bethlehem. What would it have been like to be there when Jesus was born? Well, today we light our fourth Advent candle. It's purple. So Christmas is in just a few days. We have no more Sundays together before Christmas. And our fourth candle is the candle of hope. And Jesus, we hope for the Messiah and Jesus is our hope. So let's watch a video. It's called The Gift of Nothing. I think you'll enjoy it. And let's close with a prayer. Dear God, thank you so much for the joy you have given us this Christmas season. Although Christmas is a little unusual and unexpected this year, there is joy all around us. Help us to open our eyes, our ears, and our hearts so that we may experience the joy that Jesus brings. It's in Jesus' name that we pray to you. Amen. Thank you, and I will see you next week. And everybody have a Merry Christmas.